The most important foundation of atheism as it reached its peak in the 19th century was Darwin's theory of evolution. Darwin proposed that the origin of man and all other living things could be explained by unconscious natural mechanisms. In that way, he offered a false explanation for the origins of life for which atheists had been unable to account for hundreds of years. In fact, the atheists of the time rushed to embrace Darwin's theory. Beginning with Marx and Engels, 19th century atheist thinkers described the theory as lying at the heart of their philosophies. However, the major support of atheism itself collapsed with the scientific discoveries of the 20th century. Yet all the fossil research throughout the 20th century presented a totally different picture. Not one transitional species that might prove Darwin's theory was found. For example, the phenomenon known as the Cambrian Explosion is by itself sufficient to destroy the theory of evolution. Almost all the basic categories in the animal world emerged all of a sudden in that early geological period. Living things from very different classes such as mollusks, vertebrates, arthropods, and echinoderms with their very different physical characteristics emerge with their exceedingly complicated organs and systems all at once. This fact that emerges from the fossil record demolishes the theory of evolution and is proof of creation instead. You see, the snappy answer you will usually get from an evolutionary biologist when asking him what would convince him that evolution is wrong is fossil bunnies in the Cambrian. So, Wells, if in the Cambrian explosion most of the major animal forms appear in the form they currently have in the present, where are the Cambrian fossils of bunnies, whales, bayan trees, chameleons, ants, turkeys, kangaroos, orchids, crocodiles, lions, elephants, bees, humans, spiders, etc.? etc., etc. In putting his theory forward, Darwin based it on the idea that animal breeders produce different species of dog or horse. He then applied the changes observed in those creatures to the whole of nature and suggested that all living things might have descended from one common ancestor in this way. However, 
That claim was made in the light of the low level of the 19th century science. and discoveries made in the 20th century demolished it. Decades of observations of different animal or plant species reveal that variation within living things never went beyond specific genetic bounds. Genetic experiments, on the other hand, showed that the mutations that Darwinists regarded as an evolutionary mechanism could never add new genetic information to living things. But that, on the contrary, they always had harmful effects. The countless mutation experiments carried out on fruit flies only yielded deformed individuals. Yeah. 